103. So I'm back with the final video uh, in this little series where I'm constructing the platonic solids from the nets in uh, homework oh, 12. 12 it is. Um, so I cut along every solid edge, I fold along every, uh, every dotted edge, and you can see in this figure there's a lot of triangles. And if you actually count them out, there are 20 equilateral triangles that are meeting here. Now we've already talked about the uh, tetrahedron, we've already talked about the octahedron, and this is no different when it comes to those triangles that make up the faces. They're all equilateral triangles, they're all identical, all 20 of them. And since they're equilateral triangles, we have 60 degree angles on each of these faces, okay, in each of those corners. All right, so what we're going to do is everywhere you see glue under, you're just going to, um, you're just going to fold it under the adjacent side, and you can start from either end, but I do suggest you start at the end and just sort of fold directly under an adjacent face and put a little slab of tape or glue or however you're adhering these pieces together. And you can see straight away that a little bowl starts to form at the tip. So let's keep going. Anywhere you see glue under, just start to. Right? Now you do want to be kind of systematic about this, and you just want to go in a sort of either clockwise or counterclockwise, and you'll start to see the three-dimensional figure form. It's no longer laying flat like the two-dimensional net did. It's actually becoming three-dimensional as you start folding in these pieces and taping them down. So this shape with 20 different um, faces coming together, 20 equilateral triangles coming together, we wind up with what's called a icosahedron, icosahedron uh, indicating that there are 20 sides. So I remember whenever I was first learning about these, um, just getting the vocabulary down was kind of difficult. You wanna make sure that you don't confuse dodeca dodeca, the two and 10, um, that's actually indicating a 12-sided, I'm sorry, 12-faced figure, whereas it does not indicate a 20-sided figure. So two times 10 does give 20, but that's not um, how these are referenced. So the dodecahedron is when 12 regular pentagons come together to make a three-dimensional shape. And the icosahedron is what happens when 20 identical equilateral triangles come together. And again, I'm just going through, I'm still folding and taping. Folding and taping. This one has the most sides of all the platonic solids. So in my opinion, it's the most difficult to glue together. But um, again, just anywhere you see the words glue under, put that under the adjacent face and just throw tape over the shared edge. I'm almost done here. Sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background there. A little wild this morning. It's kind of what happens whenever you uh, work from home. One moment. Okay, so uh, I got my dogs under control and I'm back over here. I'm doing some final taping just to get this icosahedron finished, get the construction finished. So I've got tape along every shared edge and all of the glue under tabs have been folded under the adjacent side or faces. So just like in all of the other platonic solids, all of the faces are identical. Remember we have 20 identical um, equilateral triangles here that have come together. Because they are equilateral triangles, all of the edges along every face are identical. Whoops. So I've got uh, this edge is identical to this edge, is identical to this edge, is identical to this edge, and it goes all the way around. Every edge is exactly the same length. And because we have uh, equilateral triangles on these faces, every angle okay, on each of these faces is 60 degrees. I labeled all of them. So you can see there are no different angles on here. Every one of these angles measures 60 degrees. So what we can do with this type of shape is we can select any vertex that we want to look at. And I'm going to select the vertex that joins what looks to be the 12, 13, 14, 16, 20 sides. I could choose any vertex, they're all identical. But I'm just gonna choose to zero in on this one. So I'm looking at this vertex right here. And all I need to do to figure out the internal angle sum at this vertex or any vertex that you choose is to add up all the angles that meet here. So let's count how many 60 degree angles meet here. Well, one 60 degree angle, two, three, four, five 60 degree angles. 
So I'm adding 60 together five times. That's the same as five times 60, which is 300 degrees. So the internal angle sum at a vertex of an icosahedron is 300 degrees. Perfectly fine. It's not a flat figure. It hasn't exceeded, it hasn't met or exceeded 360 degrees. And you can see we still have a three dimensional shape. A perfect three dimensional shape. That's the whole idea behind these uh, platonic solids.